What's up guys, Josiah Martin here. My parents and I have been on a road trip through Iceland. We found this awesome spot late, late last night to set up our tent. We just finished packing up camp. Now we're gonna make some coffee, get on the road and go see more of Iceland. Nothing like instant coffee to start the day off right. All right guys, so it's about 60 kilometers to the next waterfall. So less than an hour away from the amazing Skoptafell waterfall. The scenery right now is just amazing. We're crossing this one lane bridge over this giant river valley with the glacier just feeding into it right there. Huge mountains and rock formations everywhere. Driving in a car is normally boring, but not this car ride. We're just approaching one of the biggest ice fields on Iceland. You can see why they call this place Iceland now. There's ice everywhere. Pretty icy. All right, so we arrived at the place for the waterfall. The road's closed though, so we're gonna take off and uh, hike up this trail. Hopefully we can see the waterfall from this trail. Just a couple days ago though, I was on crutches. My foot's still recovering from a really bad sprain playing basketball. So even though I'm still limping a little bit and uh, taking it slow, it's good enough to walk on. So I'm thankful I don't have to walk up this trail on crutches. 1.4 kilometers. I would not recommend going 1.4 kilometers on crutches. Walking by and see this cool little shack. It used to be a power plant uh, generating hydroelectricity from this big stream. When we forget our backpack on the hike, <laughs> Dad turns into our backpack. I'm the, this is my personal best. Ten garments wrapped around me. I'm the walking coat rack. It's a little bit of a walk to make it into this waterfall, but totally worth it. Not the biggest we've seen, but definitely my favorite. Well, this spot was wicked cool. Let's go see what Iceland has next for us. in the car headed down the highway. So we're driving along and there's just ice everywhere. Huge ice field and then we see this lagoon just full of big icebergs and a bunch of car stops. That's when you know you jump out of the car and get your camera. So here we are. Check this place out.
just a ton of ice all piled up right here. Super cool place to fly the drone. There's some paddle boarders going by that I was able to capture. A photographer's dream right here. Got some great pictures and now let's get back on the road. So living in Alaska my whole life, the only time I've ever been in the ocean has been in the Pacific Ocean. But today I have the opportunity to touch the Atlantic Ocean. So the point of a bucket list is to check off things you've never done before, right? Check, touch the Atlantic Ocean. Well guys, we have made it as far east on this island as we're gonna make it. So we're turning around and backtracking, headed back toward Reykjavik. So we're driving along when you just see all these sheep and this beautiful big glacier and mountains in the background. It's so stereotypic Iceland, we just have to stop and grab a picture. There's sheep everywhere over here. Alright guys, so as we were driving this way, we saw this really cool bridge and an old building that we wanted to explore. We wanted to make it all the way over there to the fjords first though, so now that we're on our way back, we're just now stopping at the bridge and going to go check this place out. Well, this is as far as the rental car can go, so we're going to leave that there, go cross the bridge on foot. The nice thing about Iceland is you can stick your water bottle into any stream and uh, have good, clean, fresh water. Pure Icelandic. <sighs> Loaded with minerals. Just a little old barn tucked away in the hillside. Pretty neat. Sun's fading quick though, time to hit the road. Everywhere we go and every turn of the road, I'm just blown away by the stunning beauty and the scenic landscapes. Super glad we decided to visit Iceland. All right guys, we just park in the car at the hotel. Well, we just got settled into our hotel room. The last two nights we spent the night out in the tent and we got really cold. And last night it rained most of the night. So like our sleeping bags and uh, the tent got a little wet. So tonight we decided to treat ourselves and bring in all of our wet gear, dry it out. So then tomorrow we can spend another night in the tent. Well guys, another day is finished here in Iceland. The days are just flying by, but man, we are just having a blast out here. Tomorrow we got more big plans, and if you wanna see them, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.